hello friends welcome to a school server tutorial in this video we will learn about the clustered index so here we will talk about what is clustered index and how it works so we know that when we create a primary key as told here in this video a clustered index will get created for you We know that primary key column creates a clustered index. Clustered index works like a B tree. So B tree is a data structure. Whenever you create primary key, SQL Server will create a clustered index, forms a B tree, and store that in a uh, data file. Let's say we have an MPID column. Of a employee table contains thousand IDs ranging from one to thousand. So to explore or to explain cluster index, we are simply taking this example. There is a table employee which contains a column MP ID, and let's assume that the MP ID column contains thousand records or nine hundred records, and in which some 10 IDs are missing and IDs are ranging from 1 to 1000. The clustered index forms a tree-like structure to ease the search. So search in the sense it will make data retrieval quicker but it has the adverse effect of slowness in insert update as well as delete because the operation needs to revisit the structure adjustment that means a b tree adjustment now let's look at the uh, picture of uh, uh, clustered index for this specific example we will also assume that a user created a primary key column for employee id mp id in the employee table there will be a root node and multiple intermediate node in the B tree structure. When B tree is formed, a root node and if structures are like this, we can call this as root node, this as intermediate node and these are all leaf nodes. The leaf node contains data pages from where the record database record will be picked. So intermediate records will have index pages and leaf will have the data page so that you can pick the specific record. So let's consider this example and if you see the index will be presented like what you see here in the right side pen of right side pan of this slide so here we took an example of employee id ranging from 0 to 1000 let's assume that there are some 920 records and when there are id that ranges from 0 to 1000 then root node will be like this and the structure will be formed like what you see here in the b tree 0 to 500 here 500 to 1000 that will be on the right side then when you come here in this specific node 0 to 250 will be here in the left side or 250 to 500 will be in the right side so we can call this as a root node and this is one intermediate node and this one is a second intermediate node and all these are called leaf nodes so now let's assume that user is searching for a specific uh, id 
seven hundred and sixty seven and let's state that that is available here and there's a specific record so what happens search will begin here so first you will land up here we want to search for 767 so we know that it will not be there in the right side I mean left side so we will travel this way towards the right and we will land up here if you see here out of 1000 records or 900 records we almost skipped half of the record in the very first search itself because of this B tree structure right so now you are here 500 to 1000 then the search is for 767 so instead of going towards left you will come towards right so your direction will be on this side so here you will be avoiding almost 250 records right here almost 500 id we skipped in the first pass in the second pass we skipped almost 250 then there will be even more structure for simplicity reason in this picture we just stopped at two level and once you reach here then you will go to the index page so all these are index pages from here you will reach into data page there will be a linkage from this intermediate index page you will reach here then you will scan and you will get the specific record so the specific record will have the id along with the other column because these are all data page right so you will get the complete record and once you find the record based on the id then you can pick whatever column you want so that's how the b tree traversal will work and here if you see this is the cluster index and cluster index is formed based on the primary key column so that's all here in this video now we will go to SQL Server Management Studio and see how we have primary key creation will create a clustered index as well. In the previous video, we created a primary key index for department table. You can see department ID is holding the primary key. Similarly, in the employee table, employee id is holding the primary key so we marked department id as primary key as well as employee id in employee table as a primary key when you look at indexes for the department table you can see there is a cluster index created for this specific primary key so pk dept key that's the primary key here for uh, employee id there will be a primary key pk employee so i mean a clustered index so whenever you create a primary key you will get a clustered index automatically created for you we will talk about this non-clustered index in the coming videos that's all here in this video thank you for watching bye